Hello, welcome back to another video on information technology. I'm your host, Kevin, <laughs> and today we're going to talk about uh, getting into information technology. What, are, what do you need to do to get into IT as I, and become an IT professional? We're going to talk about what should new techs know and learn. So for some cases, when you're starting in the IT field or in the IT world, a lot of people have um, a different view on it. It depends what kind of view you have. Um, some people, they, 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 they don't do certifications. They get a, a bachelor's degree in computer science or an associate's degree in computer science. Other people, they don't do that. Other people have certifications. But then there's another set of people. They don't have certifications, but they don't have a degree either. They only have experience. So we have, we have it uh, cut into three sectors, experience, certifications, and a bachelor's degree. For this video, I'm going to talk about certifications. So as an entry level uh, PC tech or desktop support specialist or trying to get into IT, I will recommend going to CompTIA certifications. And when you do CompTIA certifications, you should probably get your A plus and your network plus. Those are the entry level certifications that they usually recommend that you take if you're trying to get into IT. And once you get into Com uh, CompTIA certifications, you can move on to Microsoft or Cisco. If you want to be a server admin, get Microsoft. If you want to be a network admin, get Cisco. If you're trying to do programming, I will get C plus plus, Java, learn about Python. Then there's Oracle. And there's VMware. There's so many certifications out there. You have to decide and figure out what what field or what what a position you want to do. There's so many things out there. So you have to figure out which ones do you want to do. So we have a lot of IT roles. We have PC technician. We have desktop support. We have network admin. We have system admin. We have a server admin. We have web developer. And obviously the list goes on. There's always a lot of certifications to do in. You should always, as a as a um, IT professional, you should always keep up to date with certifications. Ones that you are doing at your job, you should always keep up to date with those certifications. You should always teach yourself. You should always learn, and you should always keep up with technology because technology is changes every single day. Like whatever, whatever, whatever I'm going over right now, it becomes obsolete the following year. So you should always keep up with technology. So like I said about the like, CompTIA certifications, I would I would definitely recommend uh, uh, CompTIA A+, Passport, or the CompTIA uh, book. And if you're trying to study the certification, I would definitely recommend uh, watching Professor Messer videos on YouTube. He's a really good, resourceful guy. He knows the stuff. He talks about um, the A+, the 901-902, and the 801-802. So you, part of being um, certified is having experience and getting familiar with the field. So if if I was like a, if I was a newbie, a new guy, and I and I'm in school studying my bachelor's degree in computer science, some cases they might ask you for a CompTIA plus or a Network plus. Other cases they may ask you one year or two years of experience. So as a as a um, IT professional, I would recommend you do volunteer work. You work as an intern. You study certifications. Know know what know what field you want to do. You gotta learn about new technology when you're not working. If you're not working, you should learn about new things on the field. You should keep up to date with Microsoft Network or Cisco or whatever you're trying to achieve and trying to accomplish. So, for example, um, if you're trying to get into the desktop support role, you have to have your A plus certification. Part of an entry level desktop support role, you should know how to do server 2012. You should be familiar with the operating systems XP, 7, 8, 8.1, uh, Windows 10, and Mac OS X. You should be familiar with group policy. You should be familiar with hardware break and fix and software. You should be familiar with imaging. You should know how to do networking. You should know what DNS is, what DHCP is, what are IP addresses. You should be familiar with virus removal, spyware, and installation. You should, you, should, you should also be familiar with mail exchange. So part of the IT field, you should be required to know how to do these things as an entry level tech. Of course, they don't expect you to know everything. You have to 
learn the little things and then you, you teach yourself you teach yourself as you get the job title or whatever job title you, you, you get you teach yourself along the way as you're working in that company you get the experience there that's part of getting the experience so a lot of people think that um that information technology is all about you know dealing with computers dealing with laptops and things like that but in reality it's a combination of software hardware and you, you have your hard skills which is whatever you know how to repair whatever you know how to do but then you have your soft skills and as you, as you have your soft skills I mean like uh, customer service dealing with customers having a face to face with customers uh, knowing how to knowing how to speak to a customer knowing how to how to have good customer service a lot of, a lot of uh, a lot of managers look at that. They look at the soft skills and look at the hard skills. And then when you go into interviews, if you're trying to get a job, when you go into interviews, they don't look at they don't some some cases they don't look at certifications. They look at your personality and what kind of personality you have and what how do you think? Um, what are your people skills? How do you interact? How do you shake their hand? If you look at them in the eye when you shake their hand, you give them a firm grip when you shake their hand. And they ask you, they ask you non-technical questions. They ask you about yourself. They ask you about personality questions and things like that. If you're doing an interview, in some cases, other interviews don't do that. Other interviews, they actually give you like a technical, a technical exam, and you have to do the exam, and you have to figure out how to how to pass the exam. And they ask you a lot of technical questions that you have to know and figure out and things like that. So if you're trying to get into information technology, I would recommend. Get, uh, Getting certifications, getting getting some sort of experience by volunteering or doing some intern intern work or trying to help somebody, and you could put that on your resume. I was I was volunteer for this company, I was an intern for that company, I was doing this and that for this company. It, it looks really good on your resume when you have some sort of experience that you could put on your resume. The thing is, though, you they, they, you want to show you want to show the company that Whatever company you're trying to work for, you want to show that you're always learning. So I would get certifications as well. So I would get my A plus and be an intern for this company, and make sure and make sure that you're always learning in the new technology world because everything always changes. My computer is my computer is is brand new, and then the following year is obsolete. So you have to figure out what what you have to learn and whatever field you want to learn. Like if you're going to be a, a system admin or you're going to be a network admin. I will recommend search the job description and just search whatever certifications they ask for that job description, and also search for what they, they what they require you to learn and what they require you to know for that particular job role. So that's how you get familiar with with what you want to learn and what you want to do and what job you want to get. In any case, um, that concludes my uh, presentation. Thank you. I hope you have a good day. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you want to ask me anything, feel free to ask me. Send me a message or whatever you want to do. Just send me a private chat, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. I hope you have a good day. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you like, and um, happy Saturday. Take care. Bye now.